Good afternoon, 47. Your destination is the annual Global Innovation Motor Race in Miami, Florida. After analyzing the data from Reynard's computer, the case is clear. The Providence defectors are Robert and Sierra Knox, head of robotics developer Kronstadt Industries. A visionary inventor and technological innovator, Robert Knox has spearheaded Kronstadt Industries to the bleeding edge of technological development. His equally brilliant daughter, Sierra, is not only a financial wizard, but also a fiercely competitive race car driver with a fiery temper to match. Kronstadt enjoys enormous popularity with global consumers. However, few are aware that the company is also one of the world's leading suppliers of next-gen military tech. Last year, despotic ruler Jin Po employed prototype Kronstadt drones against peaceful civilian protesters in the now infamous Tungyan Valley incident. And although it has yet to be proven, there is little doubt that the Noxes personally brokered the deal, making them complicit in a war crime. It is unclear why the Noxes would betray their masters, but likely the fear of being next put on the Shadow Client's hit list has pressured them to cut a deal with the enemy. Undoubtedly, with Kronstadt Industries on their side, the militia will increase their attacks tenfold, and so our contract obligates us to retire Robert and Sierra Knox and contain the damage they may inflict on Providence. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Miami, 47. The innovation race is on its last day, and it is down to the wire. Thousands of eager fans are gathered for the final laps of this unexpectedly close race. Sierra Knox is expertly piloting her red Kronstadt car. Her father, Robert Knox, roams the nearby expo building where Kronstadt is showcasing its new prototype car. The Kronstadt RK Mark III has seen fierce competition from the Chinese Kowloon Heavy Industries' new racer. Moses Lee, CEO of Kowloon, has taken a dominant lead and looks invincible. Sierra Knox will need to risk it all if she wants to win for the third year in a row. The stakes are as high as they can get.
I'm here now. Ready to meet up with Sierra Knox over at the hotel. Yeah, after the race. I've just got to pick up the documents from my van, but, um... Definitely not coming through here. Please move along. Some guy jumped me. He stole my mascot out. The race is entering its final lap, 47. The race is over. Sierra will be coming off the track any time now.
you've been by my side, Mr. No. This would totally have fallen. I may only be a tech reporter, but I have ambition to see you know. The fact is that Kronstadt is very likely with any information on what actually happened in Tommy Bay. That is Ted Mendez, one of the country's most influential military-grade money men. This must be connected to Kronstadt. Day to you, sir. Now, those mechanics of the Constant team have a name. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Miss Knox informed me you'd be here. She asked to make sure you brought the documents. So, did you bring the documents? I have the papers right here. Excellent. Come on in. Have a seat or something. I'll let Miss Knox know you're here. Yes, Miss Knox. How are you, sir? So, uh, you here for a job application or what? Something like that. Nice. If you don't mind me saying so, your particular choice of attire is maybe a little, I don't know, off? For a job interview, I mean. My suit is at the cleaners. And you couldn't find anything else to wear? Correct. You must lead a very interesting life, my friend. You have no idea. So, Mr. Hmm. I never did catch your name. Names are for friends. Very well. Straight to the point in all business. Walk with me. Where are we going? Don't worry. What am I gonna do? Kill you in broad daylight. I just want a bit of privacy here. Not about to do sensitive business like this in front of an audience. Good idea. So just to get this straight. 